that's just the way What up, world? It's your boy Jeff, aka Cool Boy Jeff, right here. This is the only place you can find the wave. It's the wave 804. Hey, yo, shout out to the South Side, you know what I'm saying? South Side Richmond, you know what I'm saying? I got uh, one of the greatest in the building, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the future greatest, man. Thank so, you. you go ahead and let everybody know, man, what's up with you and how you doing for the day? I'm great. I'm actually chilling right now. I'm glad you are. You, you've decided to interview me. I uh, feel good about it, so. Hey, this little, you know what I'm saying? I gotta give respect. Respect is due, you feel me? I appreciate you. I already know. So, first off, I do want to start with, like, what made you want to start participating in music? Um, a few things. Um, I used to freestyle in my high school. I actually went to Manchester High School in Chesterfield, but it was me and a group of guys, and we used to just take turns, like, freestyling, battle rapping, and all that. And I always wanted to rap, but my passion, my main passion was modeling. Hmm. Um, I met my team, um, not too long ago and they asked me that I rap and I was like, yeah, I used to, but I'm not sure if I could still do it. We, um, got in the studio mm -hmm. and that's where my song that's out on SoundCloud right now called Motivated happened. So I'm mm -hmm. blessed for that. That's what's up. And it was, it's... I'm not going to have one of those drawn out stories where I used to do this ever since I was a little kid type of thing. It was more so of a yes, I can rap, but I didn't know where to go for it or who to talk to about it or how I could get my stuff out there, mm -hmm. per se. It was more of a like, it was something fun to do in high school. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed like battle rapping with my friends. So, yeah, mm -hmm. basically it wasn't nothing like, you know. No, I feel you. It's, it's, it's grown on me. It's a passion of mine now, but at first it was more so of me just playing around. That's what's up. Yeah. So for you to, uh, back in those days, it was more like playing street ball. Yeah, basically. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't like the NBA yet, you know what I'm saying? Basically. So what what is something that you feel like you kind of worked on when you was battling the guys? Because I know it had to be very heavy. Because I know for them to, like, to bring you in the middle, then you got to kind of bring your A-game, even though it's just like yeah. kind of like street ball, yeah. what are certain things that you had to sharpen just to make sure your tools was intact? Probably how to be catchy. Just mm -hmm. how to like sell. What the, um, pers like what to say. Mm -hmm. Almost like, it wasn't really nothing like sharpening. It was more so my raps had to like be catchy. Uh, be something people can ca catch on to. Um, I, my flow. Mm. Per se had to be cleaned up, but other than that, I feel like you know, it was basically just rapping okay. for me. That's what's up. So, so do you find uh, when you spoke on battle rapping, is there anybody that you look up to that kind of caught your eye, like in URL or? I'll be honest with you, and I'm just keeping it a butt. Like, no, like I don't, I don't really have any rappers per se besides like. It's hard to say. I don't have any rappers that I per se look up to in this generation mm -hmm. of rapping because it's a, not enough to just make a catchy song. Mm -hmm. You know, like I'll look up to like Tupac or I'll look up to like Biggie or those general artists. Mm -hmm. But in this generation, Drake, I love Drake. Um, mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of Chris Brown because mm -hmm. he is multi-talented and he's one of my favorite like artists in general mm -hmm. but I don't have like a trap rapper that I like, look up to and that's pretty dope does that make like you know, yeah like, it makes perfect sense because I know a lot of people who make trap music some of the things that they say kind of just don't make sense it's just like okay you said something but it's like it's not really it's, it's more made to be like catchy or just Mm. Something to say. It's not really you rapping. So, fast forward from high school to now. <laughs> what is it? What did what um? Who is the person that kind of took you up under their wing and you know was like more of like a mentor and just made sure that you stayed to uh stay the music. Feel out of God. Mm. <laughs> Shout out to him. Um, the CEO of Dub Life. He's became. Like a brother, like he's like a brother to me. Mm -hmm. I will say, like, it this music thing means more to me than just coming out with a song that's catchy, that's a hit, mm -hmm. that's like 
something to like put out to stun on people mm-hmm. per se this is like a family they're like my brothers like they became like my brothers but they became my mentors him and pete pete mills <laughs> <laughs> they became like my mentors like but more so my family like it's deeper than the music for me mm-hmm. they've given me like the tools and the more more confidence because back in high school like going back to high school i didn't really have a push or when it came to creativity mm-hmm. like i can draw um the rapping i modeled but it wasn't i didn't have the confidence or the way i carried myself did carried myself didn't show mm-hmm. throughout that they've you know mentored me and they've given me a lot of confidence and tools to make myself better mm-hmm. you know um guided me and everything else like it's it's crazy. It's such a life change, and the persona I've made of Southside Shy is is crazy. This is like, and when I say it means more to me, like Southside Shy, that's a that's a different person. Mm-hmm. That isn't that isn't shy. <laughs> that's shy, but it's it's somebody I could be. Yeah, it's somebody I want to be. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of things like. It's somebody I, I inspire to be. I've inspired to be my whole life. Like, I wish Southside Shy was with me in high school. I wish Southside Shy was with me in, when I was in college. Mm-hmm. I, used to, I used to go to Virginia State. Southside Shy is a like persona that I, I wish I had all my life. Mm-hmm. And I'm growing into who she really is. Okay. You know? So. so, I feel like it's very dope that you can look at yourself from then into now. You can see the growth and maturity of not only your craft, but also your mental mindset. Yeah. So, what is the challenges that you got to face to make sure that, you know, Southside Shy <laughs> is on top of her game? Just, you know, ignoring all the negativity, keep pushing forward, um, knowing that I can do anything and I can, you know, really get out here and inspire to be anything I want to be. Mm-hmm. And like I said, I, I wasn't, I didn't have that confidence my whole life. And I've gained it with Dub Life and with um, everything else I'm doing. Like, I'm in a model organization. Well, not an organization. I'm in a model um, agency. Gotcha. Agency. I'm in a model agency called Genesis Level. Mm-hmm. That's dope. But per se, like, just... It's a lot I could say as far as that, but it's just... I'm gaining it. It's not something like too, I don't want to get too detailed with, but right. I'm gaining more confidence as I go along. Mm-hmm. And that person, which is Sasha Sasha, motivates me every day to be the best I can be. Mm-hmm. Because that persona has really saved my life mm-hmm. as a person. Like, I've struggled with a lot as far as like depression and. Um, just different things in my life that have brought me down mm. as a person and just people saying, not even saying, but just my ideas weren't good enough or, you know, people hating right. and not wanting to see like the other person win, mm. you know, not wanting to see me win and, you know, um, viewing their thoughts as better. Right. So like that gave gave me the confidence to be like, forget that mm-hmm. I can do this. I'm great. Mm-hmm. I deserve everything in this life. Respect. I deserve the the respect. I deserve all of it. Mm-hmm. And I I haven't I didn't have that before. And mm-hmm. I've gained like I said I've gained I gained a family that actually pushes me and actually believes in my craft and believes in me mm-hmm. and says I can do anything I want to do. That's what's up. And you know what? And as far as I'm concerned, you know what I'm saying? This is the first time me and you ever had a a face-to-face conversation. And from looking at your videos, I see the work ethic that you put. And also, man, shout out to the team that's also been on your back because that means, number one, like, you know, they care. You know what I'm saying? They want to see you make it just as much as you want to see yourself make it. And not only that, that, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the monitor... You know what I'm saying? I know as much that you look at your music and certain things you look at, ah, oh, I could have did better. Or, yeah. 
you know, oh, I'm very you know, hard. Time, time. I, I will say, like, I'm very hard on myself. I've always been, like, a perfectionist mm-hmm. when it comes to things. I guess that's where the model comes in in me, like, mm-hmm. that everything has to be on point. Everything has to be perfect. Mm-hmm. I've always been like that with everything. But, mm-hmm. you know, they've also showed me how to chill and mm-hmm. relax and, you know, kind of not be so uptight about things and, you know, turn up and have fun mm-hmm. with it, too. So I thank them for that as well. That's what's up. And you know what? I want to um, honestly want to thank you for uh, not only coming on here and doing the interview, but to also come on here and you never know, maybe in the next two, three months, you might, <laughs> the whole team be big and you can look at this and you see what you were saying to yourself and see everything, what you came and what you've been through. Yeah. And just looking at it, it's like you... Like, like young Muhammad Ali, you know what I'm saying? Even like going back to like my childhood, like I didn't have the best childhood. Um, a lot of things happened within my childhood. I don't really like to discuss or talk about or go into. Mm-hmm. Maybe in the future, mm-hmm. I'll go. You know, get way way more personal with that. But uh, I've had I've had loved ones. That's bad things have happened. You know, it's just a lot of mm-hmm. things that have. Build, built me up to be the person that I am today. Mm-hmm. So, like, I'm very um humble and I carry myself, you know, in a good way, like, kind heart, like, big heart. I'm a big, I have a big heart. Mm-hmm. And I guess from experiences that I've dealt with as a child growing up, you know, I never really had a lot. So, when I, you know, gained all of this, it just kind of makes me humble about it, mm-hmm. you know? Like, I never really had somebody look after me or have my back. So, I'm that's, happy for that. That's respect. And you definitely going to do big things. And your team going to do big things. You feel me? <laughs> Y'all definitely going to do big things. And I'm just looking for so much greatness to come out of you. And you got to think about it. Everybody got to start somewhere. And, you know, I think Faber said a while back in one of his soul tapes that uh, God gives us heart as a battle to the strongest soldiers. So, you know what I'm saying? You, and the things that you've been through, like, I could definitely testify, like, man, the, the things that people throw on you, but just remember, you survive at the end of the day. Appreciate you, you're not only a testimony to yourself, but you're a testimony to everybody else around you. Appreciate you. No respect. So, you go ahead and let me know about this new music that you're driving in 2018, though. That's a secret. <laughs> ah. Yeah, it's 2018 is going to be a great year. Mostly, uh, you know, springtime, summertime songs, songs you can vibe to, turn up songs, of course, club bangers as well. But I kind of, with this tape that I'm working on now, I want to kind of get more personal Mm -hmm. and I want to kind of express myself more on this tape than I did the last one. Because, I mean, like I said, it's enough to make, you know, a turn up song, club banger, but... I want to get more in depth, you know? I mm-hmm. want people to know me as a person more so than just, like, a face or just somebody that's putting out, like, you know, hot songs that's, you know, club bangers or, like, mm-hmm. something just to, you know, have. Mm-hmm. I want people to know me, like, really, like, know me as a person, as an artist, all across the board. Mm-hmm. So this new music in 2018 is going to be fire. <laughs> Pretty much, no more, you know, games being played, mm-hmm. just straight fire, all that. I dig that. I really do. And for the most... Not saying that my other stuff wasn't fire. No, I understand that. No, it's I understand just going to be more, you know. It's, it's like you setting, the, you setting the bar for yourself yeah. on this next joint. I will say, like I always say, my biggest competition is me. Mm-hmm. I don't see no other competition but myself. And I always want to do better than I did before. Mm-hmm. And that's with everything I do. Videos, my songs, even modeling. I always want to do better than before. Mm. That's it. <laughs> yeah, as much as you make sure that you, you know, you're setting a bar, it's also make sure that you stay and remain humble. Of course. Because the best things come to people that wait. You know what I'm saying? You waited a whole lot in your life and you working hard. You doing modeling and you doing rapping and never know what you might be doing in the future. Like someday you can get picked up by Nike or Fila right. 
You know what I'm saying? It's just however you think. If you don't ever think big and they don't make you scared, you ain't working towards nothing for real, for real. So you go ahead and you let everybody know where they can find you at. The new music right. you get, you dropping. I don't know. <clears throat> My Instagram, Southside Shy, S O U F, Side S H A I. You can find me on YouTube, on the Dub Life page. Um, new music coming out 2018. I can't really say too much. It mm-hmm. hasn't been released yet, so y'all see when it does drop. Um, just like I said, check out my new music video, All Man, and my first music video out right now, which is Whoa. It keeps climbing. <laughs> <laughs> that, the views keep climbing. It's crazy. It's amazing. I'm very blessed and I'm very humble to be in this position that I'm in right now. Amen. So, I give that to I give that to God and the high power. <laughs> <laughs> Universe is working. <laughs> yeah, as much positivity that you put into the world, you're gonna get so much back to it. And um, shout out to my team, my brothers. Like, they mean like the world to me, honestly. Mm-hmm. So, salute to them, man. And thank you for being on here. You know, you're giving so much positivity through this right here. I just I try to always spread love and positivity to everybody because I think we need as a city in general, Richmond, Virginia, we need more love. Facts. Like we need more love to be spread. We need to work together. Facts. Real shit. Like it is. It's time. We got to get the city on the map. So. Facts. That's all my team is like trying to do. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day. That's respect. And this has been another dope interview, Southside Shy. And I thank you for being on here to support. And I'm more, <laughs> I'm more thankful for you being on here. And you can share your positive light. You let everybody know your story. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no problem. And this is the only place you can find the way is to wave 804. And we out, man. Turn it up. Turn it up. That's just the way.